Okay then guys, today is a big one. We have got the Gold Scarab, and this increases runes obtained from defeated enemies, which when you are farming for them is going to be massive. At the moment, as it stands during the early game, runes are not too bad to come by. Upgraded is pretty damn quick, and that's the case. Now when we get into medium to end game, it gets a hell of a lot harder. I think right now I am at a point where I'm costing about 30,000 per upgrade, which is just something that you just wouldn't bloody want to deal with. So today we're going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So first of all, we're going to head on over to this location right here on the map. And this is on the far right hand side, just off Limgrave. And you guys are going to be able to get there quite easily. We've got quite a few other videos. But essentially, you just want to follow the path all the way around from the top of Limgrave. And it's going to take you over to this location right here. From here, you are going to take a little journey through to the left-hand side, and you are going to need your mount for this, so follow the dragon wall all the way down to the bottom. This is a very, very easy route over there, although you will have to take out a boss. It will, you have to take out two bosses, but they're about half the difficulty. So we're going to be going over to this bit here, so we get to this structure of rocks just at the end of the cliff edge. Now, there is numerous ways you can get down from it. You can just jump down like we're about to now, or you can see on the right hand side there is a big tree you can scale that walk around and go through that way but needless to say it's a lot easier on the horse just hit the double jump and then you are going to be ready now i got a bit intrigued by the purple thing at the bottom can't lie got a bit greedy but jump back up Anywho, so we are going to make our way into the cave right now and there is going to be a nice little grey site down at the bottom. Now I do recommend you guys grab hold of the lantern, it's just given at this point, or a torch, but we are here in the abandoned cave. We are using the lantern because it gets pretty damn dark, but you have to do a few things here. So this right here is an absolute nightmare of a flooring and will kill you with geysers on the floor. I recommend just rolling through it, it's the quickest way to get there. As you can tell, took me a few attempts to figure that one out. Now once we've done that get through to the left hand side and follow the route that I'm taking right now. There will be things that attack you but they are pretty damn slow to say the least so as long as you're rolling out of the way of it you should be absolutely fine. This is a nice little route through and actually isn't that dangerous whatsoever. The part that gets a little bit difficult is once we get to the bosses. And you guys may have seen these before because you can actually obtain their armor. Again, if you want to see that, then when we get to the boss fight, there'll be an annotation in the top right corner for you guys to go ahead and grab that armor for yourselves as it does look pretty damn cool if I do say so. Now we're going to be making our way through this right hand cave down here and this is where the boss door is going to be. For me, magic worked really well with this now for you guys obviously use what it is that you would normally use for your bosses but magic worked really really well here for me personally so we're going to speed this up and show you guys how we took them out alongside our wolves and yeah we'll get in with it Okay, so once you've finally taken them out, you will have obtained the gold scarab, and it's just that bloody simple. Now, we are going to show you guys exactly how this works and what it is that it does. So, we have a farming method right here, which is the ball, and you guys will know this. So, we have not got the scarab on to begin with on this first run, and we're going to show you exactly what it is that we come up with, and then we're going to put the scarab on and show you exactly what it is that it does right here. Now, this is great for the farming method because the farming method is OP anyway. Now, if we've got an extra addition, to it it's pretty crazy now as you can see right there we had the standard amount that you guys would normally get and we are going to now take a look at what it is that you get with the scarab on so whack that bad boy on and this is something i recommend you have on quite frequently i know there are a lot of other ones that you guys may want to use but as far as leveling guides this is just something which is going to be a pretty standard thing now as far as being able to level you're going to need to rock this thing now we're going to let the ball roll off the edge and see what it is that we come up with next as you can see 
2342 nice little pucker amount and something you can't say boo to a ghost to that is exactly what we wanted to see with a decent percentage added on to the side with around an extra four to five hundred runes for doing absolutely nothing at all if you guys wanted to do the farm i'll make sure i leave the link down in the description and you'll find the annotation top right corner right now head on over go and grab yourself an absolute shed ton of runes but as always guys thanks again for being amazing thanks for being so supportive and i'll see you in the clouds